Hello everyone, it's Patrick. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I saw a couple requests that I wanted to get to just right off the bat um, because they're songs that I haven't listened to and I'm you know, very interested in. So one of them is going to be Jackson Wang's new single. Um, I'll do that in the next video after this. Um, and then Joy Park, uh, someone that commented down below wanted me to do Psycho. So, or from Red Velvet, yeah, that's, that's important to mention. Well, I don't know. You guys are K-pop fans, you probably knew that. Anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do Psycho. Um, the view count is insane, over 100 million on this. It's nice to see, uh, you know, just groups that aren't necessarily like the newest talk, um, the newest trend in K-pop, but they're still able to, you know, definitely show that they have relevance. And if anything, you know, lately I've liked Red Velvet's sound a lot more just because it's a little bit more experimental like I wouldn't say it's necessarily on the line of NCT perhaps um, but you can definitely see how SM is kind of pushing a lot of their artists into this new realm of uh, you know not necessarily straying away from what they've done in the past but just kind of giving new flavor um, new options even in the choreography I feel like a lot of the SM groups are you know changing they're evolving um, I think right now in 2020 going forward I think it's kind of a an ideal time to do that and you know we're just talking about SM right now but I'm pretty sure a lot of entertainment companies are gonna be doing the same thing like I said just because it's it's like the ideal time for that in k-pop um, just becoming more popular globally and yeah I don't know there's just a lot going for k-pop right now which is great I'm not complaining um, but yeah that's enough talking we can go ahead and get into it. I'm also not sure about any like pre-background stuff. It's called Psycho though, so it gives us <laughs> a little bit of something. Thanks, some nice little run riffs to start the intro. Hmm. I like kind of know all their names, but I kind of don't. Like I know Wendy, Irene, and like, I don't know. I know them all, but they're not coming to my head right now. Joy, Joy is another one. Dude, how am I forgetting the other two? What an L, there's only five and I'm, I'm taking the L. It's okay, let me focus. Hey. Yo, so far, everything is much slower tempo than I thought. Um. Almost sounds like a lot of American pop songs in some ways. There you go. This part I have heard on Twitter. And I also saw a lot of people talking about how um, some of the like progressions and the melody are similar to one of Kehlani's recent songs. Um, but you know, like that just happens in music sometimes. There's only so many variations that you can do, especially if it's the same exact key. I don't know if it is, but you know what I mean, right? Like there's only so many things that you can do musically when it comes to the actual music theory. Okay. Sing rap is really interesting. That's like one of the things I have not explored a lot myself. It's really cool to see. Oh shoot. Is that supposed to be like a Snow White reference? I love the contrast of this part right here. Kind of the, the pre-chorus before the drop uh, compared to the Psycho chorus. I don't know, it's just got a nice, like they're just kind of like perfect contrast. Even in the choreo, I bet, I bet they're like that too. I love the sets too. There's a, Good variation. And I don't know if it's necessarily like continuing on the timeline of when they did like Bad Boy and Very Bad Boy and stuff like that. I don't exactly know. Like I said, I don't have any like, like pre knowledge. Hey, is this kind of like the bridge? Very minimal. Hey. The dance is so cool. Ooh. Little CGI going on.
a that this part is pretty catchy too that was like the perfect place for it too kind of like this repetitive phrase yo i think i should have watched this one with the subtitles or the captioning because i don't know if the video or at least for me i'm just i'm not getting the most out of it as i could have i think but that's okay oh shoot the red did that say something about f festival finale yo okay that's interesting i need to probably look into that or you know someone down below might also tell me about that too i don't know you know but yeah uh it's been a long time since i've reacted to a girl group to even begin with um and even yeah with red velvet it's been a super long time so it's really good to revisit them uh you know like like i said i think the past i don't know like three or four dedicated singles they have had have more of this kind of sound um and i think that's partly just like i said kind of the k-pop music industry evolving a little bit but also you know they're still they're still doing their own thing um that's a pretty good song I, like with many songs in k-pop i think sometimes you don't appreciate it or you don't get enough out of it until you listen to it multiple times and uh, some of the best songs that's the case with um i found so this being my first listen and also trying to focus on reacting at the same time i think there's a lot more I could also get out of the song which is okay you know that's just my own personal thing but I'm more so just focused on like talking to you guys you know what I mean so yeah I mean honestly that's that this is the one time I think I would have preferred captions on because normally I don't like them on um, but yeah I don't know the only thing I you know like there's a lot of kind of hints at you know like courtship and marriage and stuff like that or at least that's what the symbolism looks like um the pricking of her finger could kind of be snow white i'm not sure that could you know symbolize a lot of different things obviously um but overall yeah very interesting um you know music wise i think everything that came in came in at the appropriate time um you know i'm pretty sure the k-pop industry basically has that down to a t they've been doing that for a very long time uh, you know very much so leading the industries of music and evolving them um but yeah i just honestly need to listen to it again it's definitely very catchy um i would say maybe the bridge is like a little bit lacking um which is totally okay though because a lot of the times that's how a bridge is uh it's kind of you know it turns into a mere more bare bones instrumentation and generally gives you a sense of like slower tempo i think it's just because especially in the intro it starts off a little bit slower um and overall the tempo is just generally not that fast so i think they needed to do something more interesting melodically um just because they already actually do have sort of a slow tempo uh so like you don't you don't feel the shift i guess as much as you would in like other songs um female or male groups really um but yeah that's that's just a small gripe that's just like one suggestion you know k-pop and music as a whole is very subjective like you can't just say something needs to be the way it is you know that's just how music is it's done you know for their intent their reasoning the people who produce this it's not it's not up to me um but yeah i hope you guys like my reaction like i said i'll do jackson wang uh coming up next and you know yeah we'll just keep going from there so see you guys in another one i appreciate you have a good day night you know whatever it may be hey you like that intro music check out my boy aspen in his soundcloud He's got them fire beats.